Hi, it's Pastor Craig, and I'm coming uh, our Friday, our final uh, daily devotion for the week until our Sunday service. And uh, today we're going to be looking at a, a scripture that's found in Luke chapter 14. And I want to share it. We're going to break it down into three simple truths. Um, the first one is found in, in Luke 14, and we're going to be looking at verses 15 and 17 through 17. And it reads as follows. Hearing this, a man sitting at the table with Jesus exclaimed, what a blessing it will be to attend a banquet in the kingdom of God. Jesus replied with the story. A man prepared a great feast and sent out many invitations. When the banquet was ready, he sent his servant to tell the guests, come, the banquet is ready. How many know that we uh, plan parties and we plan events? How many know that those are offered invitations that we send out? And those invitations are to specific people because we want them to be there. And that offered invitation is, is for that guest. Well, the Bible says that that's what the intention of this uh, master was, to offer an invitation to many to come to his banquet. But as we read on, the Bible says in verse number 18 through 20, but they all began making excuses. One said, I have just bought a field and must inspect it. Please excuse me. Another said, I have bought five pairs of oxen and I want to try them out. Please excuse me. Another said, I, I just got married, so I can't come. And this is now the opposed invitation. And this is where sometimes we receive the invitation of the Lord and we oppose it. We have an excuse as to why, uh, why it is that, uh, that we don't want to attend, that we don't want to surrender, that why we don't want to give our lives to him or serve him or live for him. And we have excuses, and that's what we, talk, we, we refer to as the opposed invitation. But then if you look at the final portion of the scripture, and it's found in verses 21 through 24, and it reads, The servant returned and told his master what they had said. The master was furious and said, Go quickly into the streets and the alleys of the town and invite the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. After the servant had done this, he reported, This is still, there is still room for more. So the, his master said, Go out into the country lanes and the behind the hedges and urge every, anyone you can find to come so that the house will be full. For none of those I first invited will even get even the smallest taste of my banquet. And this is the open invitation. And the, this actually translates to the invitation that the Lord gives. It's, it, it may not be specific and it may not now be opposed as we sometimes do, but it's open. It's open for anybody who's willing to receive it. And I believe that there's always an invitation from the Lord for something in our life, whether it's a challenge that he wants to put before us or a, a place that he wants us to be. Maybe we have a gift, a talent that we have not completely surrendered to the Lord. There's an open invitation. Maybe there's the ability, some are great administrators or some people have been blessed with more than enough and their invitation is to give and it's an open invitation and yet they're reluctant to do so. The Lord has invitations for every single one of us and they're open and they're open to whoever will fill it even though we may not because it's specific to you and I. I want to encourage you and remind you that God has something for you. He has something that he wants you and only you to do. But if you don't do it, he'll open it up to somebody else to do because his work will be done. You and I have invitations in our life in so many different ways, shape and form. And sometimes things come across our way and it's a beautiful thing to see when all of a sudden we're given the privilege of doing it. Find your invitation that God has for you and work with it well. Let's bow our heads. Father, I thank you for tonight, and I thank you for this week that you've given us, the safety and the security that you've provided to so many, God, the health that you have given, the miracles that we are untold, God, that you have pulled people out of comas or you've helped them with breath and life, Lord. We're so grateful for you. And I pray, Father, for the future of many lives of those that have been waiting patiently for you, God, to work on their behalf. I pray for them as well, Lord. I pray for our lives now in this lesson, God, that we would be receptive to the invitation and more importantly than anything else that we would respond god let us not be the ones that are opposed but let us be the ones that are anxious god to do the work that you've called us to do use each one of us for your glory god i pray over blessing over your life may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord make his face to shine upon you may the lord be gracious unto you may the lord turn his face towards you and may he give you peace as we get ready to enter the end of this week 
Hey, God bless you. I look forward to seeing you again on Sunday. Uh, it is a YouTube. If you want to come and join us, uh, search Faith Tabernacle South Amani in our YouTube and you'll find us. You also have our church app as well as our Facebook. We want you to join into the service and worship with us. God bless you.